Hey there guys, welcome to April. I'm going to be doing a one month in my bullet journal this month. Um, if you're not familiar with that, I think it's, I'm not sure if, uh, if she started it, but Boho Berry has done it like two or three times. I think she might be, she might be doing a third one. I'm not sure. Um, but basically you just kind of show, it's like a whole month of how you plan in your Bujo. Um, I did, a sort of similar thing uh, back in September, August, September, um, where I did the minimalist Bujo challenge. So if you're familiar with that, um, that is sort of similar, but different. If you're not familiar with that, there is a playlist on my channel. Um, where you can go and look at that. But um, it, this month, I'm not going to be trying anything super new. I'm just going to kind of show you what my planning routine looks like right now without, you know, changing anything. I'm not going to um, like hold myself to not changing anything because I do like to play around with layouts and things as I uh, feel the need. But yeah, I'm just going to be posting a video every morning. Um, same time as usual. I usually post at like 6 a.m. Pacific um, so that it's up for all of you who get up early. Um, so I'm going to be filming the day or night before. So what you'll be seeing every morning is me setting up the day that you're watching. So for example, today, Sunday, this is me on Saturday setting up for Sunday. Um, the exception is going to be tomorrow, but you'll see that. Anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and take a look. Um, I'm currently in this Pemberley, uh, yeah, Pemberley is the leather, Chic Sparrow, Pemberley Angel notebook. It's this really nice soft leather. It's a uh, classic with top stitching and a pen loop. I think I've, I mean, I've sort of shown it a little bit, but not like made a big deal out of it. Um, it's pocket size, by the way, field notes. So I do use my field notes in here. Um, if you're not familiar with my setup, I have an Annie Plans Printables uh, monthly insert in here. So here's my March, my April. I did a setup video of this calendar just the other day as well. And then, um, this collection is long-term, or this notebook is long-term collections. This one is my planning. This one is short-term collections and project pages. And then this last two inserts actually, but they kind of go together, are um, also in Annie Plans printables, but for um, things for my pregnancy and planning uh, for the baby coming. So that's all in the back here. So uh, we're gonna look in here in the planning insert mostly. And um, basically, this has been this last week. I plan Monday through Sunday. So this is what I've been doing since Monday the 26th. Um, I've been using this layout for a couple weeks. I started using it when I was heading to Las Vegas and was gonna be doing things differently. It used to look, my weeklies used to look like this. Um, but I decided to be a bit more structured and actually use like grids and it's actually it's been working really well for me um, And then this week I kind of Took it a step further and so there's like there's to do's here on this column So if I think of something that I go, oh, I need to do that on Thursday I'll write it on Thursday um, And then I have like my events on this side. That's you know easy enough to do's events the middle column here is for uh, meals and then over here is just a general to-do list. Um, last week it was all just one sort of to-do list. This week I went ahead with the Alistair um, so that I could just mark it here and like decide, oh, okay, I'm gonna do that on Sunday. And then I would mark it there and not have to worry about remembering that it hadn't been done yet. You know what I mean? Um, and then I just cross it off as it's done in the column of the day it's done. Like, so already, like, like I said, I'm filming this on Saturday. I've done the cleaning I wanted to do, and I've done this, and I'm currently doing this. Hi! Uh, then there's also a tracker. This is just the same old tracker. Uh, I should probably think about modifying this a little bit, maybe switching up the way I do it, because trackers, I think, tend to have diminishing returns if you don't change them, because uh, you kind of just get used to them, and then you're not trying anymore, and that sort of defeats the purpose. Anyway, I expanded from this this week in particular and actually did some dailies as well. Um, even though like all the important stuff is either here or here. 
I went ahead and I made dailies for the days when I wanted to get a lot of stuff done in a certain sequence in the evening after I got home from work. Um, so it's the basic stuff that like, I, that's the first thing I do when I get home from work is I feed the dog, but I put it there. And then I said iced coffee because I wanted to make myself iced coffee. And then I needed to pull the chicken out of the freezer, right? Then I had, you know, some errands to do. So um, basically I was thinking about this stuff during the day and I was like, I want to write this down. Um, I could have used like a sticky note or something, but why do that when you have your bullet journal? That's what it's for. So I went ahead and I made a daily that was just for the evening. And I did the same thing, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Because this week um, has been like Holy Week. So I knew that after work on Thursday, we'd be busy all evening um, at the church. And then Good Friday, I also wanted to set aside completely just for church stuff. Um, like I said, I'm filming this on Holy Saturday, which is sort of a, a down day where I'm like, I can get some stuff done and also, you know, some prayers. And then Sunday also like is pretty much a write off um, because between church stuff and family stuff, it's just going to be. So really I had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Saturday to get stuff done. So you'll see that's like where everything is concentrated in my Alistair grid here. Um, and so yeah, I wanted to make sure that I really made the most of those first three days of the week. So that's why I have these to-do lists that are like really nitty gritty, um, you know. And then, yeah, Saturday I accidentally put a two and then I turned it, sort of turned it into a three and I, then I wrote the word Sunday. So I got rid of that and moved the header to the side. And I've been pretty productive all day. As you see here, I actually, have been alternating between filming something and then cleaning something. Um, I find that like alternating between two things, two like categories of thing, um, kind of helps me to stay motivated, especially if it's two categories of things that I'm not super stoked about doing because then whenever I'm doing task group A, I wish I was doing task group B. And then whenever I'm doing task group B, I wish I was doing task group A. And uh, so I'm always like looking forward to the next step. I've got to get this done so that I can move on to something I want to do more. But as soon as I start doing that, I want to go back. It works for me. Um, I've also been putting the time that I start each task um, just to sort of keep myself accountable a little bit so that I'm not spending like downtime because then even if I like, I'm probably not going to go back and look at these times. But if I did, I would know that I slacked off and that it was inflated, right? Like the, it says that it took me half an hour, but it really only took me 15 minutes. And then I faffed around for 15 minutes. Yeah. So, uh, it's keeping me on track. That's why I wrote lunch in here between these two tasks. Cause I just finished eating and I didn't want all of the time I spent eating to count against how long it took me to vacuum. All right. So yeah, that is pretty much, <laughs> I was supposed to set up Sunday in this video, but that's, yeah. I'm not actually going to set up Sunday in this video, even though today is the April 1st, one month in my bullet journal. April 1st this year, 2018, is Easter Sunday, and uh, like I said, it's pretty much the day is going to be spent, like, I don't know if we're going to morning mass because we're going to mass tonight. Um, I know we're going to Tito Croy's house, I'll write that here. Like, so... I don't want to count on anything. So I'm getting everything that I want to get done, done on Saturday and then just leaving Sunday blank. And so I'm not really even planning on looking at anything in here at all, um, all day Sunday. So the next video will be tomorrow will be me setting up next week, uh, for Monday the second. Um, let me just take a look at a couple collections pages that I like to check in on every so often. Um, oh stuff. This is sort of a checklist of things to clean, but I'm kind of, eh, I'm kind of moving away from this just because it was just getting me stressed out. Um, oh. Is that right? Well, that is right. All right. This is a list of recurring tasks. Um, and I, I changed it up so that it lists the last time I did it and the next time I'm scheduled to do it. So I can just look and go, oh, look, that date is in the past. So that means I need to update it. So the 26th, March 26th, 
Yeah, I did. So I'm going to move that over here. I last did it on the 26th. And so I will next do it two weeks from then on April 9th. So I write that here and I write that here. Great. <coughs> Excuse me. This spread tells me what bra to wear <laughs> um, and when to wash them. Uh, so currently, yeah, that's fine. I have that set up all the way through Sunday because I wanted to make sure I was wearing the right color bra with my Easter dress. And then this is my debt payment tracker, which actually does need a little bit of filling out. So let me grab, I could be wrong about this. I don't think this is the right color. I have this collection of all of my, uh, that looks right. I think that's right. These are the Pilot Friction colors. They are erasable markers. And I use them here just in case I mess up, I guess, or if something else happens, but also just because they're fun colors. And so I'm filling in how much my car's paid down. And then also, where our savings is, we kind of put it off for a little bit and then caught up. So we've put in some savings. Slowly but surely, I just used a erasable pen to mark off where it needed to be filled in. We're pretty close to being able to fill in some more squares and some more of these, but not yet. All right. And let's see, this is my checklist of MH stuff from myhogwarts.com. And I should probably actually do this today on Saturday. I'm gonna just add that here. MH, generally. And then, is there something in here I wanted to keep up on? Nope, I think it was just this. This is uh, where I took note of all of my prayer intentions during Lent. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with where this is. Basically, I'm using this for Saturday the 31st, and then I'm just not even probably going to pull it out uh, on Sunday, and we'll resume on Monday. So um, you'll see in tomorrow's video, Monday the 2nd, you will see me setting up the week of the 2nd. So this one's probably longer than they're uh, probably going to be, but I just wanted to um, sort of establish what we're going to be doing this month. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions or anything, I take those in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be posting these videos every day. Um, there's also still going to be the Sims videos that go out every Tuesday um, for those of you or yeah, those of anybody who wants to watch those, those will still be coming out. Um, but I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Until then, have a happy Easter. I hope you enjoy it with your family if you celebrate. If you're not, I don't know, happy Passover also for those who celebrate Passover. And I don't know if there are any other holidays this weekend. Happy April Fool's Day. There you go. This isn't, this isn't a joke, guys. It's not a joke. I'm actually doing this. Because, yeah, I'm not celebrating April Fool's Day. One, because I hate it. And two, because it's Easter. So, happy Easter. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.